about denim rises demystified. You hear low rise, you hear mid rise, you hear high rise, you hear rib height. What does this all mean? We're gonna show you on two different body types. As buyers, we love trying everything on because me, I'm super long in the body and I'm super short in the body. So it works out that we're opposites. So we like to try everything on. So what we wanna show you first is a low rise of both of our body types. Now, we recommend low rises usually for our more petite customers, also people that are all legs and shorter in the body. So let's just take a look at this one. I've had to size up two because it's just sitting down lower. My belly button is way low. And actually, this one is not for me because the crack of my butt starts right there. So this is almost too low for me um, for a rise of a G. So it looks cute from the front if I have everything tucked, but if we have any extra, woo, it's scary. So me, it's quite low too. And I had to size up again too. And there is a little bit of that chub up being so low, that's what's gonna happen. And again, the pockets are quite lower, but for someone who's super short in the torso, it's gonna work for you. For the purpose of this exercise, an eight and a half inch rise, we're gonna call a low rise. So let's show you what a mid rise looks like. We're gonna start to eke up one inch at a time so you guys can see what it looks like on our body types. Okay, Nikki, where are we at now? This is a Parker Smith. We're at a nine. A nine, so we've come up just like a little bit of a half inch. Um, on me, didn't do much. No. Still can see my belly button, still see a little extra chub. Um, it's lifted a little bit up, my bum feels more in my pants, but mm, not like, I'm like, for not me, fully. I might want to go a little bit up. But a nine on you, for me, completely different. My belly button is like almost gone. The chub, a little more smooth, just nice, and then the pocket is in a way better spot. So for me, a nine is, almost a perfect rise. And so a nine inch for Nikki is a mid rise. A nine inch for me is still a low rise. So we have to remember, if we have more than two inches for our belly button to the top of our pants, that's a low rise on you. A low rise and a mid rise on each person is totally different. And that's why when you come in, you gotta try on all sorts of jeans. So let's move up a little bit higher and see what happens. So. We're sticking with a 10 inch rise, which is a mid rise for me. So this is the KD. I love this like wide leg flare from Fidelity. I'm feeling like super comfy in it. Um, but see how I'm just a little more tucked. I've got basically an inch of finger between my belly button and the top of my pants. Yeah, so for me, this is long. still a mid rise because a high rise definition is gonna have to cover the belly button. And then I love that the pocket's sitting a little bit higher on me. My chub's kind of tucked in. This is a good mid-rise for me. I feel comfortable. So I really need to get to 10 for it to feel comfortable for me. Yeah, no, totally. So this, a 10 on me, I would say about the same as the nine. So it's still kind of that mid to high. Again, chub still a little bit there, more covered, and then pockets a lot better. So this 10 inch rise is a good mid rise. We sell a lot of 10 inch rises at SB because it kind of is a good in between whether you're a shorter body or you're a longer body. 11 inch rise. What does this mean? For someone like me, it means I can still see my belly button because yeah, I'm so bad. long in the torso, but I feel nice and tucked in. For me, I was almost like just a smidge higher, a smidge lower is more comfortable for me, which is why we try everything out. Now, Nikki, what happened to your belly button? It's gone. It's disappeared. <laughs> it's not there anymore. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so this is a true like high rise, like my boobs are almost in my pants. That's right. Yeah. So 11 inches, nice and high. Something we always like to think about. Where's your hip bone, Nikki? Right there. And the top of your rib. So basically, the highest rise you can possibly wear is the smallest part right in the middle. So you kind of can do a little yeah. bit of measurement and go, okay, that's kind of the highest rise I could wear to be normal. This would be my highest rise. There we are. So she's right in the middle of the top of her hip bone, the bottom of her bottom rib, skinniest part. Now let's see when we go one inch up. This might be really funny. 12 inches, Nikki. So a full foot. Okay, that's high. That's a high rise, and for me, it is perfect. We finally found the spot between my hip bone and the bottom of my rib that is the yep. skinniest part. I am in love with these jeans. Okay, keeping me all tucked in, crotch is looking really nice. So for me, who's really long in the body, a 12 inch is the perfect high rise. Now, what happened to you with the shorter body? I don't know, it's gone, it's horrible, <laughs> nothing works on this. Way too high, so I find my when it's too high, so 12. I get like crotch action. It doesn't lay as flat as an 11 or a 10 would. And I don't even know where belly button is big in there, but who knows? Exactly, yeah. so when she does her measurement, she goes, wow, that's above yeah. where I am. So then she starts to get reverse chub on top. Exactly, yeah. And then she starts extra to get chub. like. It's horrible. Yeah, that's what I never yeah. Well. So yeah. basically, we hope that we've helped you understand just seeing it on two different body types. The eight and a half, the nine, the 10, the 11, the 12. Just remember, do a quick measurement on yourself so you know approximately where your highest rise can go. Because the reality is, high rises are in, they look good on most people, but you've gotta find the right high rise for you. And that's really how we pick jeans at SB and we help you out, but if you happen to be buying online, 
follow this helpful tip.